Uber A Game, a 100% black owned company with an all natural product and world class customer service. We're headquartered in California and we manufacture, package, and ship right here in the United States. We ship to more than 125 distributors worldwide. Normal processing is two to three days and we employ virtual tracking until our product is received. So, no matter where you are in the world, here we come and we're bringing your A-game. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and we back with another video. And in this video, I want to speak on the new developments of the story going on with the CEO of Chick-fil-A and how he has been being attacked. They've been attacking his uh, appearance value because he doesn't want to come out and fully support pride or the LGBTQ community. And in the article, which is going to be in the description box, but in the article that I read, the CEO of Chick-fil-A, which is, uh, his name is Dan, Dan Scurry, if, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's Dan Scurry. No, Dan Caffey. Dan Caffey, my bad, I forgot. Dan Caffey, that's his name. And he's been attacked because from the looks of things, he's been actually going against the people who lobby for the LGBTQ. And for the past couple of years, they've been putting a lot of pressure on him. And it seems like he kind of lied to them and told them that, uh, you know, he will support their agency because, you know, a lot of people who are of the LGBTQ community supports Chick-fil-A. So I also read an article where a guy who really loved Chick-fil-A, who's obviously a homosexual or of the LGBTQ community, because he don't have to be homosexual to be something else. Um, But he was saying how it really hurt him to find out that Chick-fil-A wasn't backing um, pride causes. And my thing is this. At the end of the day, we're in a system where this spirituality is the worship of money. You see, and this guy, Dan Caffey, who actually comes from a family of Southern Baptists, he doesn't agree with the LGBTQ community. He doesn't agree with that lifestyle. So he's not going to support it. No, he will not put any money into it. And what you people need to understand is, is that in life, Life starts with you. Life don't start with money. If life started with money, then why would anybody pursue success? Life starts with you. It starts with spiritual value. And this guy, Dan Cathy, he understands this. He lives by this. This is why Chick-fil-A 
is not open on Sundays. So it's obvious that he's not supporting this stuff for religious reasons. But as we know, hmm, these wicked people, man, they, they find ways to put pressure on people who don't agree with their lifestyle or don't agree with their life. Let me say that. See, I, I my thing is this. Everyone should have their own reasons for supporting something, and they should have their reasons for not supporting it. I think what the LGBTQ community should do is whoever choose to not eat Chick-fil-A, just choose not to eat Chick-fil-A. But don't take it so personal. What Chick-fil-A's CEOs and owners personally think about you shouldn't matter because if that's the case who will wear michael jordan's who would wear timberlands who would wear gucci who will wear louis you know black people found out a couple years ago what h and m think about black men we found out years ago what tommy hill figure felt about black people wearing his clothes Timberland discussed years ago how his boots were not made to be wore in the hood, in the ghettos. Did that stop people from buying Timberlands? So why should that stop you from buying a damn chicken sandwich? That is his personal beliefs. You see? But you want to, y'all want to affect people's money because they don't believe or live the life that y'all live. That's wicked. And that shows the type of spirituality that you guys deal with. And I, and I don't mean people who live under the LGBTQ cloth. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the people who run these agencies and who try to put pressure on people who, who don't want to get behind that cause. Because see, at the end of the day, I'm going to just be honest. If all LGBTQ people stop supporting Chick-fil-A, that's not going to put a dent in their wallet. It's not going to put a dent in their wallet. So why are you people so gung-ho on Chick-fil-A giving y'all kickbacks? See, what this whole thing has become, it, it, has, it has become a lot of, you know, soft extortion on companies, man. We're pushing these agendas. A lot of these agendas, people make a lot of money. And they go around and they put pressure on people. And that's what they're doing to Chick-fil-A. That's what they're doing with Chick-fil-A. And, and there's a lot of other companies who, who don't agree with it either. But some who didn't agree with it in the beginning, they got on board in the end. It's because they don't want to deal with the, with the pressure. They don't want to deal with the media and and because they're going to lose a lot of money with bad press with negative media portrayal but this is a perfect example of a man understanding that the connection between him and his money is his belief in god and his belief in himself this is a perfect example of this. And I hope this, this guy, Dan Cathy, don't back down. I hope he don't give in. Deal with the negative media portrayal. Deal with it. Because at the end of the day, what you believe in is more important. What you stand for in life, your principles, your morals, your ethics, is more important than what these people who come by chicken sandwiches think of you. 
Because either they're going to buy the chicken sandwich or they're not. That's business. Either you're going to buy it or you're not. So understand, brothers. It's about you. Even in business. You shouldn't even you shouldn't even embark on certain business ventures that doesn't come from you. And when I say come from you, I mean is a representation of yourself. Things that you like to do. Ideas that you like to embark on. May e it may even be a new idea. But it has to represent you. Because spiritual value in the 10 life value system is the first value. The knowledge and belief in oneself and God. You know, something that's bigger than him. See, Dan Cathy was taught as a young boy to have these values. The relationship starts with you and God. The relationship don't start with you and money. This is what he was taught. And I hope he don't stray away from that, man. I hope he take whatever hits he could take. Because at the end of the day, people still going to go eat Chick-fil-A. People are still going to go eat Chick-fil-A. People are still going to go and work for Chick-fil-A. It is what it is. Stop running around here like y'all bullies. Because that's what y'all doing. Y'all even doing it here in the YouTube streets. Running around here bullying y'all way through sectors. That shit need to stop. Because now you're becoming the same tyrant that you blamed, you know, straight people for being. You blamed, you blamed straight people for not accepting your lifestyle and running around and putting it all in your face. But now what are you doing? Brothers, remember, spiritual value is first. Spiritual value is number one in the 10 life value system. Health, I mean wealth, is the last in the 10 life value system. Spiritual is number one. Wealth is number 10. And it is because the relationship starts with you and God. And you and yourself. Before it starts with you and your money. And you and your wealth. So make sure y'all like the video. Share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you notify every time I drop some new content. Right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Make sure you get down in the, in the description box. Join this A-game lifestyle. Join this A-game lifestyle. Father's Day is coming up. Hurry up. Get your Father's Day gifts, man. Time is running out. Get down in the description box at your checkout. Type in promo code SHEEP in the number 10. That sheep and the number 10 to get a discount off on your purchase. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace. For over two decades, we focused on one philosophy, the 10 life values, a system that helps us examine our lives, our vision, our leadership. Our products and our services are exclusively for men, all men. The ones who teach and mentor our kids, maintain our livestock and grow our food, make and repair our products saves us from catastrophe and protect our nation. The 10 life values are woven into every product and service we create. Because at the end of the day, 
Our vision is to see all men from every community equipped with the appropriate processes and the necessary tools to be excellent fathers and the best version of themselves they can be.